Hello everyone, welcome back to part two of this replay. Hasu and and what Hasu and Hapro now gonna go ahead and just run headlong into each other. Right passing that brush and down no no deaths there as a single Zergling is gonna be sacrificed to try to take down that one Zonaga. Watch our Zergling is trying to run back around. That poor sentry may be in a little bit of an issue there, getting a force field down and really and preventing those zealots from really being able to engage. Zealots now coming in. Zealots do not have that attack upgrade, and now more units being warped in on this backside in order to try to take down more of those zerglings. Those zerglings really looking fairly decent. Hasu with a very, very nice front door preventing any zerglings from coming in and being able to warp in units in order to pre and in order to save it. Now here comes the, those immortals and those zealots. Zealots definitely need that weapons upgrade. Surprised that I do not see that weapon upgrade being researched at no forge either. In comes this fight and now here comes a fair amount of roaches. Nice force shield coming in. Zerglings may be coming in from that backside. Roaches coming in from that front. This is going to be a really, really bad positioning. As it, wow, just a nice, perfect flank. So Hapro doing a very good job just outflanking Hasu in this position. Roach is now coming in, going to be able to finish off the rest of this army and nearly, but let's see what's going to be happening. Those Roaches do not have that movement speed upgrade, so not going to be able to chase down those units as much as they want to. Overlords not generating creep, no creep tumors around the map. Overseer is up, taking a look. Do we have um, we have the Glail re uh, Reconstitution? So I believe that's the upgraded while burrowed. Uh, yeah, that is the... No, that that's the... Well, not that, actually, that's the movement speed, so yeah. The name's not always exactly and that obvious. Immortals and Stalkers once again moving back out, taking a look at the armies. Hapro sitting at a 21-25 versus Hasu's 1575. Taking a look at the income as well. Hapro looking on a very, very having a very, very strong economic advantage. Stalkers now being warped in as well as those roaches gonna be taking down this last destructible rock and Hapro gonna be setting up a high yield mineral expansion in just a moment. Here comes the fight. Zerglings trying to get in a little bit of position. And those Zerglings trying to get a little bit of a surround. Oh, almost able to take down that last Roach. Roach down to six hit points. Overseer also in play as well. We'll see if the Overseer is going to drop uh, drop a changing. Now in comes these Immortals. Immortals now coming in and trying to activate that Zelnaga Watchtower. Perhaps they will be able to get proper sight into this game right here. Very, very slow moving Immortal. Or sorry, Overlords. Overlords down to 37, 10 hit points. Down it goes. And those units once again pulling back away, not sure if they really want to engage on this creep. And in comes this fight here, Zerglings and Roaches trying to come into position. That one low hit point Zealot props should move to the back as what? There is five, five Immortals. Those five Immortals will in fact be able to deal a fair amount of damage. In come these Zerglings, those Zerglings now going to be moving off into that main base and try to come up. No, no expansion. So no expansion for them to really take down as these units continue to try to move on out. More units being warped in and the Immortals e easily take down that single as Spingle spine crawler, and now those units trying to be pulled back away, trying to use those force fields, trying to use that to the best of their ability, able to just continue to drop in more units. More force fields need to be dropped down in order for them to really win this fight. More units, sentries now being warped in as well. Perhaps more force fields to try to get in position, but now there's mutilus in the air, and with only four stalkers being left behind, those and those those mutilus are going to be very very hard. No, now six stalkers being warped in, but those roaches getting a very very decent position on them. As those mutilus are going to be able to just overrun the rest of this army. Single immortal trying to fight back, and Hasu is forced to say GG. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope you guys enjoyed this game one. Excuse me, game one in this best of three matchup between Hasu and Hapro here on Blistering Sands.